Many people don't realize how effective personality training can be. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get the most out of your personality and be more successful once you know the tricks. So I'm gonna to move to the whiteboard in a sec and actually start and drill down into the personality types and actually go right in deep. I'm gonna show you what I've learned about personality types and as I have mentioned in previous videos, I've done a lot of personality training. There's many different models, there's many ways that we can actually get our head around it, but I'm gonna try and draw it out on a whiteboard for you, so bear with me. Uh, this is gonna be uh, fairly in depth and I'm gonna try and bring you the information that's gonna make you uh, more effective in whatever you're doing. Doesn't matter if it's at work, or if it's in business, or if it's in the sporting field. Uh, knowing your personality and why you do what you do is critical to success. So let's take a look. So on the left-hand side of the quadrant here, we've got more outgoing personality types. And so if you look up on the top left, we've got what's called a D, which is a direct personality. Uh, it's also known as a choleric personality. They're very direct, they're very formal, they're very in your face. Um, they're the sort of people who, they're dominant, they're direct, they're demanding, they're decisive. A lot of CEOs might be, you know, in that ballpark. They're the kind of people who just get it done. Don't ask me questions, don't give me any sort of understanding of, you know, where and why. They're not interested in feelings either. So. That's kind of the choleric side of things. Then we've got down the bottom here, which is a C, which is more a melancholy. So I'll put Melly down there for short, melancholy. So they're the kind of people who are very cautious. Um, they want to be calculating in their discussion. Um, they're very conscientious as well. So they like things precise, uh, a classic, personality type for a melancholy would be a physicist, someone who likes numbers, someone, or, or an accountant, or a bookkeeper, someone who likes things as they should be, and things that are actually uh, laid out in a way that you can't, you know, literally dispute, right? They love things put in their place. Now, on the right-hand side of the quadrant, we have what's called people-orientated. So up on the top, you've got someone who's called an I. This is the DISC system and the actual Personality Plus system that Florence Litow uh, made very famous in her book that she discussed. So the I personality type, or what's called a sanguine, a sanguine personality type. So a sanguine is someone who's the life of the party. Someone who's really outgoing and they just love the center of attention doesn't mean that they are bad people. In fact, every party needs a sanguine, right? You could have someone who's outgoing and gregarious and wants that attention. So they're kind of people focused. They're the sort of people who will ask not about tasks or things like that. They won't say, you know, how did you go with your job interview? They'll say, did your job interview, was it successful and are you okay as a result? So they wanna know if you're all right. They wanna know, you know, did you make it through that without being upset? They want to, they really focus on that sort of thing. So then down the bottom, we have what's called the S, which is a phlegmatic. So I'll just call them a phleg. Now phlegs are really laid back. They're kind of like, yeah, man, it's all good. But they're very conscientious. They get things done. You can always rely on a phlegmatic. Someone who's actually so uh, down to earth, nothing kind of upsets them. It's that whole water off a duck's back with a phlegmatic. So you're never gonna roll them up. They're very steady people. They're the kind of people who go, yeah, she'll be right. It's not gonna be a problem. So phlegs are people who genuinely are very uh, successful, phlegmatics, because of that one reason there. They're very attuned to who they are. They don't let things get um, upset. And, and this side of the quadrant is very sort of people orientated. So they'd be more caring about what's gonna be the outcome of what we're doing here. Is this gonna be the case? So they're kind of very people orientated. They're very task orientated. Now, you might say, well, where do you fit in on this quadrant? Where do you fit in? Ask yourself these questions. 
do you like being the center of attention? If not, that's probably not you. You could be a phlegmatic though, because phlegmatics don't really like being the center of attention, but they do care about people a lot, more than task. So you could fit on that side of the quadrant if you are along those lines, or do you, do you more focus on the task? Are you more task orientated? In which case you could be over here. Now, if you tend to be a cleric, which is only about 10% of the population, it's not a huge amount, you're more likely going to be the person who goes, hey, just get to the point, right? Just get it done, I'm sick of you mucking around. You know, what, do you, what does it matter what happens to these people? Now, if you're one of those sorts of people, you're going to really uh, hate everyone else on the board. You don't like anyone. Maybe the flags will be okay because you get to tell them what to do and they really don't care, so they just go along with it. Then you've got the melancholies. They're the people who like everything lined up. A lot of OCD people are on this side of the quadrant. And in fact, there'd be a lot of OCD people in that melancholy uh, bracket there. So when you start looking at this and you start thinking, well, how do I get the best out of it? Uh, sanguine people are going to, for the most part, in a working environment, upset phlegmatics. They're gonna be like, man, what's wrong with this person? Just get on with it. Why do you need to have cake? Why are you having a party for somebody? What, are, what is this all about? Let's just get the work done. So if that's the case, now, if you are one of these guys, you have to work the hardest because our whole idea of being an effective person and getting the most out of our personality type is we need to try and be something that we're currently not. So the goal, absolute goal for everyone is to be here. If you can be right there in the middle, and a bit of everything, you are achieving, you know, absolutely the pinnacle because you can relate to everybody. You can understand that the sanguines require a bit of love every now and then. And the best thing you can say to a sanguine is, man, we really appreciate you being here. It's so nice to have you. It's, oh, they're, they're so happy. They're the kind of people who love that kind of talk. Phlegmatic, they're the sort of people you just basically tap them on the shoulder and say, you're doing a great job. You know, can you get this done for me? They'll get things done. It might not be when you ask them to though, but they'll get it done, right? So if they say they're gonna do something, always depend that they will do it because they will get it done. It may not be when you want it done, but it'll be when they want it done because it's in their own good time. So phlegmatics are sort of people who are pretty laid back about life, but they are very good at achieving. So a lot of leaders could potentially be phlegmatics cholerics it's unusual you'll find a, a leader here because sometimes a melancholy um, <clears throat> gets too bogged down in detail so if you're over here you need to lighten up a bit right and I know that goes against the grain with you people over here in the melancholy you like everything in, in order but in order for you to be more effective you need to be less like you communicating with other people still get your tasks done though that's very important for you and it's very important for society. We need people to get tasks done. But try and be, sometimes let things go a bit more. Also, try and be a bit more outgoing because you're most likely not outgoing at all. A lot of people in IT are here, right? A lot of people in IT, you know, those uh, IT call staff, people that ring up and, you know, your computer's having a massive meltdown. If you're a sanguine, you're crying on the phone to them. They're sitting back going, oh, what's wrong with this person? I don't understand. Just do this, 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 and this, you'll fix it. That's kind of how melancholy works. If if you're a choleric, you're, there's a lot of people who are cholerics who end up being um, psychopaths as well. It's like, you know, bang, 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 got to get these things done. So if you're up here, you need to be sometimes a bit more outgoing, and, and sometimes they can do that. They can flip over there being outgoing. Um, they tend to tr have trouble with relaxing, um, and you know the detail side of it they appreciate the detail uh, because it's also getting the task done so when you start looking at personality types our whole goal is to be in the middle we're trying to be something of everything because then we can relate to other people now here's the key all right I'll give you the absolute key to this because uh, without this knowledge it's going to actually be a little bit difficult for you to then do what you need to do to be effective. So what you're trying to be is match what the other person is. 
right? Because you now know this information, they don't potentially know this. So you wanna try and be more like the person you're dealing with. For instance, if you're dealing with someone who's outgoing, you wanna try and be more like them. If you are dealing with someone who's phlegmatic, you wanna lower your tone to be like them. And just, yep, no problems, understand, get things done the way you wanna get it done. Don't push a phlegmatic because they are stubborn, right? They'll dig their heels in and they'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna do it in my time, not yours. So if it's a relationship thing, potentially that could be going on. This works in relationships too, by the way. If you're melancholy, try and be a bit more outgoing so you've got that ability to be more um, open with other people and less steadfast in your rules because melancholy is like rules too. Um, cholerics, if you're like that, just try and understand that not everyone is task focused. Okay, so cholerics, melancholies, you guys are task orientated. So for you to try and actually get more out of the people you're dealing with, try and make them feel nice about themselves if they are on that side. But the very first thing you have to do is identify what you are, identify what the person is that you're dealing with quickly. Um, I would 100% say to you, go and get the book Personality Plus. Um, then there's that also, you can look at the disc system as well. They kind of cross over and I've done that here. I've actually got disc, um, or disc I should say, uh, is there and I've also put the Florence Litau Personality Plus book information in there too. This is just an overview, right? This is way more complicated than a, than a 10 minute YouTube video, but I'm giving you an understanding of what personality types are like. And I did mention in a previous video how personality could be a barrier for success. Go and check out that video because there's a whole bunch of other information there. Actually, I'll put a link to it uh, at the end of this video. But if you can understand that personality type could be a barrier for your success, it could be what's holding you up and stopping you from moving forward. And isn't that our objective? Be better today than what we were yesterday. Thanks Jordan Peterson, by the way. Uh, but it's true. You don't wanna compare yourself to someone uh, who you are today. You wanna to compare only yourself to yesterday. Because if you can look at this stuff and be better at it, you're gonna be more effective in everything you do. Uh, I probably sat somewhere over here in phlegmatic when I was younger. Then I kind of moved over to being more choleric up here because I had to be more of what I wasn't. But now I'm pretty much sitting right in the middle if I do the personality profiling because that's where things are comfortable for me now. Over time you can change your personality and you can be more like what you weren't. Okay, so that allows you to do things. I'm able to be a bit outgoing now where I wasn't before, uh, you know, so in a, a group environment, I'm okay in talking up and speaking my mind because I have the confidence of knowing all this stuff. And once you understand other people, you can understand yourself as well, particularly uh, in a working environment. If you're running a business or if you're trying to get the most out of staff or if you're trying to get sales, all this stuff here is critical to how you succeed. So make sure you're on top of that. Now, one last thing, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up at the bottom and subscribe down the bottom to the channel because this is just the beginning of how we're gonna be talking about things that could make you successful. You might be able to pull out some uh, juicy bits here and apply them to your own life and help you achieve what you're trying to achieve. Thanks for watching.